Governor Roy Cooper has unveiled his plan to get House Bill 2 off the books. But leaders in the Republican-held General Assembly don't seem to be sold on it. In fact, some seem more resistant than ever. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick spoke with people on both sides of the issue and has the story. I know North Carolinians are tired of hearing about this. House Bill 2 has divided us and stained our reputation. Governor Cooper and Democratic leaders of the House and Senate are hoping this latest proposal is enough to get HB2 repealed. House Bill 2 has not recruited a single sporting event to North Carolina. House Bill 2 hasn't recruited a single job to North Carolina. House Bill 2 has not made a single North Carolinian safer. The proposal would repeal HB 2 while increasing penalties for crimes committed in places like bathrooms and also while requiring local governments provide 30 days notice to the General Assembly before they vote on a local non-discrimination ordinance. Cooper says time is of the essence as the NCAA will soon make a decision whether to include North Carolina as a host site for championship events for the next six years. I feel confident that this would work. Republican Senate President Pro Tem Phil Berger says he's not sure the latest proposal really changes anything. I don't see this as a compromise. I don't see this as anything different than what he's been saying all along. Equality NC Executive Director Chris Scro says he does not support the latest proposal, not because he doesn't want to see HB2 repealed, but because that's all he wants to see happen. I think that what we need to do is be squarely focused on the repeal of HB2. That's the conversation at hand. And that was Bo Minnick reporting. And